So you know how companies like don't know anything about cartoons, but they make quizzes about them anyways? That's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at some Phineas and Ferb quizzes and see how well I know Phineas and Ferb. Now, uh, the problem here is most of these quizzes I'm predicting are going to be extremely easy. Let's search it up. Okay, here we go. First result is the ultimate Phineas and Ferb quiz. The ultimate Phineas and Ferb quiz. By Bino.com. By saying ultimate, you're saying that these questions are going to be hard. And even the most hardcore Phineas and Ferb fans will have a tough time on it. That's what I'm guessing what, what you mean by ultimate. But, let's see here. Alright. Bino, what do you got for me? Oh, jeez. This website looks awful. Okay, here we go. Ultimate Phineas and Ferb quiz. Can you beat our Phineas and Ferb quiz? Probably. Probably I will. Okay, first question. What relation is Phineas and Ferb? Wait, what relation is Phineas to Ferb? Sorry, sorry. Uh, cousin. <laughs> cousin, best friend, stepbrother. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Nephew? Wait, so Phineas is Ferb's nephew? <laughs> That would be weird. That would be weird. Phineas is not Ferb's nephew. I know that. They're not best friends because they live in the same house. They're not cousins because they live in the same house. Uh, it would be. It would make a lot more sense if they put, uh, you know, like an option for brother because I mean, that's what people would actually mistake it for. But it's just stepbrother, so there's only one option, and it has to be right. Stepbrother, this is already going downhill. The first question is already going downhill. What is Phineas's surname? We got Flynn, Fletcher, Fetcher, <laughs> Fraggle. We got Fraggle. We got Phineas Fraggle here. Phineas Fogg. It's Phineas Flynn. Let's go on to the next question. What is you lost me at this, the misspelling of Ferb. What is Ferb's surname? Uh, we got Flynn, Fogg, Fletcher, and Fraggle. It is Fletcher. What's their, what's their sister called? Not like, what is their sister's name? It's, what's their sister called? We got Lovelace, Cellophane, Candace, Sybil, <laughs> and Wanda. Wanda Flynn. First of all, it's so funny, like, none of these other names are names of other characters in the show. Like, why would we mistake this for, for Candace? So, Candace. It's just Candace. And also, I mean, her name is mentioned in, like, every episode, so. Uh, what species is Perry? <laughs> you guys, you gotta, you gotta do better than this. You gotta do better than this. This is so, like, this is like kindergarten level of Phineas and Ferb knowledge. This is like bare bones stuff. We got, here's it, here's the options. We got beaver, play puss, <laughs> play puss, uh, water vole, and otter. That is such a bad misspelling. Play puss. Yeah, it's it's it, it, Perry the play puss. Oh, what? What is this totally random question? And why is there an emoji here? There's a bunch of emojis here. What's going on? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? Which one emoji would you choose to? St this is nothing. Why is this here? I I only want the quiz. Okay, fine. Uh, cheeky, happy, relaxed, loved. Excited, worried, grumpy, angry, bored, sad. I'm gonna go with grumpy. I'm grumpy about this quiz. Uh, are you a boy or a girl? Or I'd prefer not to say boy. What? Okay, I'm older. Can you stop? Can you please stop. Please. Okay. Finally, we're getting back to the quiz. This is this is this is going off the rails. This is really going off the rails. Um, we got curveball question. What is interesting about duck-billed duck -billed platypus? 
Okay, the plural of platypus is not that. Platypus apostrophe? Like, huh? Huh? No, platypuses or platypi or platypeople. It's either, it's one of those. And that's not one of them. <laughs> it, it would be so much better if you put platypeople, but whatever. Uh, they, have, they have a weird duck-like bill. They are an egg-laying mammal. They have venomous spurs. They are unique to Eastern Australia, including Tasmania. Okay. Okay. In the context of Phineas and Ferb, these two answers are never, ever mentioned. I don't think. I don't think, they are, I don't think they're ever mentioned. So, it's either these two. But then again, all these are interesting to the real-life platypus. So, uh, for for this quiz, I mean, I would I, for me, I would just put they are an egg-laying mammal. But in terms of this quiz, I'm gonna put all of the above. What does Alka stand for? Oh my gosh! Again, again, kindergarten level. This is so easy. And why is what 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 is with this image? I <laughs> what is with this image? <laughs> Why? Is is this Phineas and Ferb or Annoying Orange? What is going on here? Okay, we got organization for wombats and other cool animals. We got organization without a cool acronym. Uh organ organization or sorry, organisa organization with weird creatures allowed. Organization who controls all. So Alka is like the next BNL. And also, I can tell what's the wrong answer because of the misspellings of organization. The only one with the correct spelling is the correct answer, which is organization without a cool acronym. This is such a bad quiz. Okay, who is Agent P? I mean, it's not like it's mentioned by Major Monogram in every single episode of Phineas and Ferb or anything. And it's not like Perry has this secret layer that he goes into every single episode. And it's not like Phineas and Ferb have no signs of going to the lair except for one episode. What is this question? Why is this here? Are you trying to let me win or are you trying to actually give me an ultimate Phineas and Ferb quiz? This is not ultimate. Aren't you a bit young to be driving a bulldozer? No, perhaps, but that's how I roll. Yes, yes I am. I'll stop. <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be driving a bulldozer? I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop. We're not gonna have any fun today, okay? Since you said, oh, aren't you a bit young to be driving this? I'll stop. But yes, yes I am. Whose catchphrase is what you doing? What, or sorry, what you doing? Clue, it's not Joey from Friends. He was, he was how you doing? We know what show we're talking about. We, you don't need to mention friends. Okay, what are the options here? Candace, Linda, Perry, and Susie. Wait, 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 wait. This quiz just got a whole lot worse. There's no Isabella. Isabella is not an option here. Even though that's her catchphrase, Isabella is not an option here. I'm just gonna go off of what they know, what, what they think is the right answer. Candace has never said what you're doing because she already knows what they're doing. They're doing something bust worthy. Linda never wonders what they're doing. So that can't be it. Perry can't speak. So that can't be it. And Susie has said what you're doing once in an episode where I think Candace was like babysitting her and yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Wow, wow, 10 out of 10. What a surprise. I guess I was right on that one. What you doing is not <laughs> Susie's catchphrase. Susie's catchphrase is more like Baba. But let's get on to the next quiz. This, this was freaking horrible. This was terrible. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Look at the like to dislike ratio. 17% likes, 83% dislikes. Now we're going over to the Phineas and Ferb knowledge quiz by the one and only content farm called BuzzFeed. Let's see what BuzzFeed has got for us. How well do you actually remember Phineas and Ferb? Where's Perry? Where art thou, Perry? Where? And it's by Kelly Martinez from the BuzzFeed staff. 
Oh, my favorite people. What's the first question, guys? How many days of summer vacation are there? What else would I expect from BuzzFeed? That's like the easiest question you could possibly ask about Phineas and Ferb. You don't even need to watch a single episode from Phineas and Ferb to know that. You just need to listen to the first three seconds of the theme song. On Disney+, Plus. the skip intro button doesn't even appear while they say there's 104 days of summer vacation, so you can't not know this. 104. What do Phineas and Ferb build in the very first episode? Roller coaster. Easy. Oh my gosh. What part of the shoe is an aglet? What part of the shoe is an aglet? You gotta be kidding me. We got the heel, the sole, the shoelace, the end of the shoelace. The heel is called a heel. The sole is called a sole. The, the shoelace is called the shoelace. It's not called anything else. It's that's what it's called. The end of the shoelace, that's not specified. You don't you don't even need to know. Phineas's Candace's blank and Ferb is Candace's blank. If you've ever seen Phineas and Ferb get busted, you would know that it's brother's stepbrother. What spy organization does Perry work for? Organization with a cool acronym. Order of the <laughs> Order of the Platypus Spies. Well, we know that's not true because there's other animals other than platypi. Um, yes, and I, I said that plural uh, version of platypus correctly. Organization for Animals with Hats. Uh, an organization without a cool acronym. Okay, the organization with for animals with hats. That's that's a good one. And I like this question a lot better than the last one, than than the question on the last one. Uh, you know, referring to Alka is because they don't limit to, you know, the Alka acronym. They they just say what organization? What's what's the spy organization? Which I think it's better wording. Um, good job, guys. I think this is a. I think this is a good question. One point to you, BuzzFeed. This is this is okay. This is this is an this is a passable question. All right, organization without a cool acronym. What sad thing happened to Dr. Doofenshmirtz as a child? Everything, everything, everything. No, uh, his parents died. Well, that would be very dark and not very comedic at all, and it wouldn't fit with Phineas and Ferb at all. Um, his family abandoned him. Also very dark and wouldn't fit with the show neither of his parents showed up for his own birth and he was kidnapped this one is the most ridiculous out of the bunch showed up for his own birth where is ferb from okay well if you ever heard ferb speak you can obviously tell he is british so united kingdom what's the name of phineas and ferb's parents favorite band the rolling stones love handle the beach boys Love suckers. Well, we can rule out the Rolling Stones because that's an actual band. That sounds like that sounds like a really weird metal band. But no, it's Love Handle. Ain't got rhythm. No, ain't got rhythm. Which of these is not one of Phineas's catchphrases? What you doing? I know what we're gonna do today. Hey, where's Perry? Yes, yes I am. Well, I mean, yes, yes I am is kind of like like a catchphrase for all characters because they all say it but what you doing is the correct answer because that's Isabella's catchphrase finally okay last question last question here how old are Phineas and Ferb it was never specified I I don't think they ever specified exactly what age they were but if I would have to guess, it would be under 13, so probably like 9 to 12, somewhere around there. But it was never specified. Oh boy, 100%, 10 out of 10, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself for, for doing a BuzzFeed quiz and completing it and getting 100%. This is like the biggest accomplishment, oh my gosh. Alright, time for one more Phineas and Ferb quiz. Oh, here we go. The ultimate, another, the ultimate Phineas and Ferb quiz. But this time, oh, it's in all caps. All right, let's, I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. Find all the characters that are in Phineas and Ferb with the clues below. Oh, 
It's like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, just writing answers, writing answers. Okay, okay, this might actually be good. This might actually be, uh, a better quiz. Yes! Oh, here we go. We're, we're starting. Okay. Has a triangle head. Phineas. I can't spell it right. Here we go. Doesn't talk much. Verb. Actually, I... No. Uh, <laughs> please get that reference. Uh, family's pet platypus. Uh, Perry. Likes Phineas. Isabella. Smart Indian kid. Um, uh, what is his name? Baljeet. I don't even know why I... Okay, there we go. Isabella's pet dog. Pinky. Pinky. That's what, his, that's what his name is. Lives on a screen. Uh, Perry's boss. Uh, monogram. Uh, intern. Carl, the intern. Of course. Name of Major Monogram's company, Alka. Uh, first name of Perry's nemesis, Doof, uh, uh wait, not Doof, uh, it's Heinz. Last name of Perry's nemesis, Doofenshmirtz. It took me a while to figure out what the spelling of that name was. Uh, Doofenshmirtz's ex-wife. How do you spell it? Charlene? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Doofenshmirtz's daughter, Vanessa, Vanessa, Major Monogram's son, Major Monogram's son, what is his name? Monty, Monty, that's what his name is. Uh, Doofenshmirtz's, uh, machine suffix, in nature, behold the, do what you want to nature, okay. Duck in costume, Ducky Momo, Isabella's mom, Isabella's mom, Isabella's mom, wait, what's her name? I actually don't know, what's, what's Isabella's mom? It's Mrs. Garcia's, Garcia Shapiro, can it just be Mrs., that would be so much easier, nah, I can't remember, okay, I'm just gonna move on to the next one, Jeremy's sister, uh, that is Susie. Z Susie's dog? They never mention the name of Susie's dog. Is that is that the poodle? I have no idea. Okay, mom's pop star name, Lindana. Man, I was trying to type in Lindana, and it just auto it just auto filled to Linda. That is funny. Okay, Meeps Meeps Nemesis. Wait, Meeps Nemesis. Me I know it spells with a. I know it's I know it's spelled with an M. Mm, mi oh, Mitch, 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 Mitch. Uh, nationality of Ferb. Uh, British. Uh, dad of Phineas Lawrence, I think his name is. Yeah, it's Lawrence. Cute alien. Meep. It's funny how the nemesis of Meep is before Meep himself. Uh, <laughs> Phineas's sister, Candace. Candace's boyfriend, Jeremy. Candace's best friend, Stacy. Uh, let's see. Doofenshmirtz's brother. Doofenshmirtz's brother. Roger. Roger Doofenshmirtz. Oh, crap. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Candace's other friend. Uh... Oh, is it that, that Save the Pigeons girl? What is her name? Je Je I know it starts with J Jenny. 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 Pinky's nemesis. Pinky's nemesis. I don't know. I think it's like Professor or something. But I can't, I can't remember anything else. Giant Robot Man. Doofenshmirtz's servant. Norm. I want to be a real boy. Uh, the panda who partnered with Perry the Platypus. But now you're doing battle with a panda from Seattle. I miss the moments when we didn't get along. Obsessed with Phineas and Ferb. Candace? Wait, are they talking about Irving? I think they're talking about Irving. The main tri-state area band. Love handle. Baljeet's bully. Baljeet's bully. Baljeet's bully. Oh, shoot. Uh, Buford. Buford Van Stom. So I scored 34 out of 37, which is 92%. Isabella's mom. Vivian. That's what her name is. Vivian. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's Vivian. Okay. 
Susie's dog is... Wait, 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 wait. Susie's dog is named Fifi? Since when was that ever mentioned in the show? It's probably mentioned once. So, I give you props for, like, making it hard for us. Pinky's nemesis is... Oh, poof and plots. Well, that was actually a good quiz on Phineas and Ferb. That was a good quiz. I like that one. So, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I will probably make a Tales of Arcadia video next time. And I'll see you guys... I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> I want to go out, but I'm just... I'm, I'm in self-isolation. It sucks. Win every day.